Hello, my name is Kathy Locke, and I'm the founder of Russian Art Tours. I'm a professional artist, and I also teach at the graduate level for the Academy of Art University here in San Francisco. After I completed my master's degree in 2007, I embarked on an intensive journey to learn about the art in Russia. I had visited Russia in 2003, and I wanted to delve deeper into the treasures this eclectic country held. I ended up creating this amazing tour de force that I offer at the beginning of July, as well as private tours for individuals and groups. My July Art Lovers Tour focuses on art, culture, and history, because in Russia these things are very intertwined. This tour begins with a day exploring the Kremlin territories, which includes the Armory Chamber, the cathedrals within the Kremlin, Red Square, and St. Basil's Cathedral. The Armory Chamber is an amazing treasure house that contains more than 4,000 items of applied art from the 4th to 20th centuries. This includes ancient regalia, such as thrones, coronation outfits, ceremonial weapons, and gifts that make up the world's largest collection of gold and silverware. Situa situated in the same building is the Diamond Fun, which is where you will see a fabulous collection of Russia's state jewels, including Catherine the Great's stunning coronation crown containing the world's largest sapphire. We visit three important museums in Moscow, the Trefikov Gallery, the New Trefikov, and the Pushkin Museum. When you first enter the Trefikov Gallery, you will immediately feel its soul. Its collection includes some of the greatest Russian masterpieces of all times. The work of Ivan Kramskoy, who the American Society of Portrait Artists call the most important Russian portrait artist in history. You will also see some of Ilya Repin's most important historical paintings. And there are many wonderful paintings by Valentin Serov, Isaac Leviton, Konstantin Korovan, and so on. The new Trepikov Gallery contains the work of the very prolific Russian avant-garde, as well as very um, excellent examples of Soviet realism, including an important painting of Lenin by Isaac Brodsky. Our main focus at the Pushkin Museum is their European building, which houses one of the world's most expensive collections of 19th and 20th century European art. This museum contains major works by Monet, Renoir, Dugas, Gauguin, Van Gogh, Cezanne, Matisse, and Picasso. Many of these pieces have never traveled outside of Russia and probably never will. In St. Petersburg, we will spend two days exploring the Hermitage Museum. I will provide lectures on its diverse collection. It is an excellent museum to learn about all the various styles of art throughout history because they are all housed here. A couple of my favorites include works by Caravaggio, Goya, Rubens, Van Dyck, Rembrandt, Lafay, Delaroche, portraits by Winterhalter and Carlos Duran. There's a rich collection of Impressionist, Nabis, and abstractions by Kandinsky. Um, also a large collection of Picasso's work. We will also visit the Russian Museum, which used to be the museum for the Imperial Academy. So they ended up with the cream de la cream of Russian masters. There are many pieces by Russian artists I've already mentioned, but in, in addition, you will see a room of Mikhail Rubel's work. He is known as the greatest of the Russian symbolists. He also was the first to start experimenting with breaking form into cubes in the late 1880s. And when a young Pablo Picasso saw his work, he called Rubel a genius. There is also a room of Kazimir Malevich's work, where you'll get to see his progression from his cubist works into suprematism and his later work prior to being silenced by Stalin. You will also see some very interesting work by Pavel Vilnov called Analytical Realism. While in St. Petersburg, we will spend a day out at St. At Catherine's Summer Palace, where you will see the newly created Amber Room, and we will also go to Peterhof. This tour is great for the artist or art lover who wants a deeper understanding of the art movements throughout time as well as the person who just loves history and culture and wants to experience the best that Russia has to offer. Hello, my name is Kathy L